find and load the datum example file, example data.tdm, in order to follow this tutorial. Activate the view panel and create a new layout with the file, new menu options. Choose the regular worksheet partitions group bar, and then the option, two areas. In the data portal, expand the channel group, example, and then select the channel, time first, and then the channel, RPM. Drag and drop the two selected channels into the view sheet upper area, and then choose the 2D axis system from the pop-up menu that appears. Activate the view toolbar free cursor. Activate the view toolbar band cursor. The band cursor will appear as two vertical lines with the area on either side of the line shaded. The left band cursor line will have a small blue square in the vertical center of the line. Hover your mouse over each line and observe how the mouse cursor changes from a four-way arrow cursor to a two-way left-right cursor. A pop-up information box will appear as well, showing you the coordinates of the band cursor line. With your mouse over the band cursor line and the mouse cursor appearing as a two-way left-right arrow cursor, click and hold the left mouse button on line and then move the lines individually to approximately the positions of approximately 11 and 31 seconds. Drag and drop the channels into the lower view sheet area and select 2D axis system when the pop-up menu appears. The two channels will be plotted in the lower view sheet area and the band cursor will be configured exactly as it was in the upper view sheet area. The lower view sheet area was configured exactly the same as the upper area because the view sheet toolbar settings are relative to each view sheet. If you created a new view sheet and configured a different cursor option, such as frame cursor or free cursor, those settings would be unique to the actively displayed view sheet. The lower view sheet area should be currently active. Click on the area toolbar labeled Scroll Cursor Range. The lower 2D axis system will immediately zoom into the X axis range specified by the band cursor. Note that the band cursor is no longer visible in the lower view sheet area. Click in the upper view sheet area between the two band cursors. While holding the left mouse button down, your mouse left and right causing the band cursor in the upper view area to scroll along the curve and causing the 2D axis system in the lower view sheet to scroll as well. This scrolling of the lower 2D axis system in conjunction with the band cursor in the upper view area is called scroll cursor range. Try changing the positions of the band cursor in the upper view area and observe what happens in the lower view area.